Yo YouTube, what's up? It's Mr. MW209. Uh, I'm back again with another video. Uh, I just said I was making, like, uploading. This has literally been uploading. Well, you seen the time last time. It was like 10 minutes ago. And it's literally took like 3 minutes for 120 odd meg. So that just shows how quick it's uploaded. I didn't, I, I actually quite shocked. Um, so this tutorial is on how to test a uh, ISO mod like if you're doing a zombie mods patch uh, on PC um, to do this you must require having um, like I said in the last video you must have all these installed all these patches the links for the video that's currently alone as I said links coming soon for patches so that'll be uploaded they'll be there soon so just keep watching that video um, so basically to um, if you to do this you need FF viewer yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and get my patch uh, where's my patch it's on my D drive so I'm gonna go ahead and get your patch uh, open up the common if it's got a common if not Nazi zombie prototype but nobody uses them anymore so it will likely be common so what you're going to want to do is open up FF viewer with the common FF file and once you've done that let's give it a second see uh, this is totally different for uh, Vista users and 7 users uh, it's the same, but uh, slightly different. So, what you're going to want to do is, the files that you need are, um, the files that you need are, um, art, so, um, underscore art.gsc. People do it the hard way, where the right click, new text document, but you don't need to do that. All you have to do is go to the file, right click, export file, desktop, and then click at the end and add the extension GSC. So, just save that to the desktop, and basically it'll go like a notepad. So, there. So, you're going to need that one. You're going to need, um... See, uh, I'm running... <sighs> Uh, a patch which all the coding is done in the debug.gsc so if you spot what what file the mods are like more more likely in uh, you need to copy that one too so right click export file desktop add the extension gsc so and then you're going to want to find um cheat so there's cheat there right click export file desktop add the extension gsc so save that and then the next one is create create diamond diamond or whatever i can't pronounce it export file desktop add the extension save and then the last one you're going to look for is hood underscore hood underscore message dot gsc just click it export file desktop and then click add the extension and that's all you're going to need to do so you can just close ff viewer off you've got all your files here that you need next you want to go to create a folder called um you see i've already got a maps folder there so what you're going to want to do is, I have all these here, so you're going to want to create a maps folder just like this one here. Um, open it up and uh, drag all these files in here. As you can see, I have all these files in here. Um, and you can edit them if you want, like the one that's got the mods in, edit it or whatever. But make sure you leave some credits. Um, and is this upload done? 
yes it is 97 percent for and then once you've done that once you've created your maps folder and dragged all these in you're going to want to right click on the maps folder add to archive or use jzip click dot zip click the end of the extension which is dot zip change it to iwd um so save and it'll create a maps.iwd here now the next thing you're going to want to do is go to my computer locals disk c documents and settings this is for xp users uh go to your username um and uh go, um click here and type in forward slash local settings and then uh, once you've done that you're gonna wanna type forward slash app location data and then Activision Cod World at War mods uh, the mod folder is not going to be there so you're going to have to right click new folder and then mods um, I've already done that so I can't do it again um, and then d once you've done that double click in as you can see I've already dragged it in there and then just go ahead and drag that in there once you've done that um, basically that's everything so I'll go ahead and show you that it works uh, give it a second to load. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a bit laggy because, uh, as you see, um, the corn. Let me go ahead and pause the video until I've got the game actually open. Right, so YouTube, I'm back. Right, once your Cod World at War is loaded up, uh, you're going to want to click um, go to mods, and there should be a folder there that you created. Uh, you're going to click launch. Once you click launch, your screen should blink a couple of times, and it should come back to the main menu like this. Um, uh, so just turn that off, it's gonna be a headache. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video until uh until this game mode's loaded. Okay. Right YouTube, I'm back. Um the game's loaded. Um it just takes some time when you're recording at the same time. So, sorry about that. Uh, give a second. There we go. Oh shit. I'll turn the volume down a bit. Uh, no. Sound. Alright, there we go. So, basically, this patch, um, which I'll include the file in the description, so y you can test it out. Um, you press V to open, and then press F to activate. So, there you go. There's a there's a starting. You press uh, V again to open the menu. Click the mouse to go down click the other mouse to go up um so yeah uh so uh um uh, i don't know this patch is pretty sick. Oh yeah. Eleventh. Oh, 
how do you find out? Right, so we start level. This might tell me something. I don't know, but there's there's a bunch of uh, things like sharpshooter, uh, strategy game. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember to sign up to my website. Uh, all the links in the description for all the files required will be in the description as soon as um as soon as I can uh as soon as I can find the chance to put them in. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember to sign up to our website once more time. Um so peace.